is Vaughn and you done know a while gone. Go ahead and scroll into the description, click the link next to Weeble and collect your 12 free stocks. First, before we get started, let me know if y'all like my new studio. <laughs> Just take a look at it real quick. I don't know what y'all see, but I see a lot of space and opportunity. And it ain't new to me, but it's something I need you to see. You hear me? So today I want to talk to you about building a family business. So there's a lot of people out there that may want to be a business owner and some may be interested in starting a business with their family. And I'm here to tell you that that is going to be the most difficult business that you're going to try to start. If you're able to start a business with your family, then that's what's going to create real wealth. See, so creating a business is one thing, but creating a family business is something that can live on. Because not only are you creating a business, you're creating an asset that can be passed on from generation to generation to generation. And if it's done correctly, it'll continue to evolve as it's passed down to each generation. Because as the market changes, each generation will be in tune with the new trend and they will be able to extract different components of each trend that will benefit the business. But here are some things that you have to take into consideration when you're building a family business. One, just because they're family, doesn't mean that they have to be a part of the business. When you're building a business, you're either creating a product or service to solve a problem. When you're dealing with people, you'll learn that not everyone has your best interests at hand, and it doesn't change when you're dealing with your family. Certain people in your family will feel like just because they're family, they get some type of special treatment. Some people in your family just want to take and they don't want to give anything that's going to help you. I've seen this many times where you give people things and they don't even value it. And the reason why is because they then know what it costs them to obtain it. See, if you give a man a fish, you'll feed him for a day. But if you teach a man a fish, you'll feed him for life. And at the same time, you could bring a horse to the water, but you can't make him drink. So if you present an opportunity rather than funds or an item and it's not accepted, then that's not someone that you need to work with. I've learned that you have to work with the willing. Because if they're not willing to work, who cares if they call you a jerk? Two, you have to groom the next generation. If you're starting from scratch, that means that you probably come from a poor family, which probably means that your parents and their relatives are probably uneducated. The highest level of education may be high school, maybe they've dropped out of college, and that doesn't necessarily dictate whether you're intelligent or not. But in addition to them not having high school education, having very little college education. They don't read, they don't write, they don't have a mentor. They're not constantly educating themselves. They're not constantly learning new things. Their age is real. I'm gonna let you know that right now because they, once you get to a certain age, you're gonna start losing your memory. You're not gonna be as fit. You're not gonna be physically able to do what you was able to do when you was younger. And that uh, is no joke. So you're going to have to be patient with them because, see, my father will always tell me once a man, twice a child. Once you get to a certain age in life, you may have kids and you have parents, but the parents are right down here with the kids because they're your kids too. And a lot of the time, they're worse than your kids. They give you way more problems than the little fellas. See, with the little fellas, you can understand because they're young and they don't know better. But the old ones, it's just like, they just want to, they just want to give you a hard time and they want you to lose your mind. I don't understand it, but I'm going to understand it when I get older too, because my kids probably going to feel the same way about me. Especially if you are the first generation, if you're the first generation to, to go to college and get, edu obtain an education, even though that formal education doesn't seem like it makes much of a difference, it really does make a significant difference because you don't know what you don't know and you don't understand how ignorant majority of the universe is. There's a lot of people that grew up in much more difficult circumstances than you and they're not blessed with the opportunities that you were blessed with and you shouldn't take those for granted. If you choose to just sit down and not manifest your reality, then there's no one for you to blame but you. You have to take ownership. The only way that you're going to get to your destination is if you make a conscious effort to do so. And if you're the first one to do it, you're going to go through it. You're going to go through 
every emotion. You're going to want to give up. You're going to want to cry. You're going to feel like you're ready to die. See, this process is not meant for everyone. If you're weak, just go to work and help someone else build their dream. Because those family members that don't want to help you build a foundation so that the next generation can build on are going to go to somebody else's job and they're going to work. See, when you're an employee, the only problem that you have to solve is for your family, your kids, your wife, your loved ones. But as a business owner, you have to solve many problems. You have to solve the problem of your customer, your employees, and then on top of that, you have the same problems that your employees have. You have to solve the problem for your kids, your family, your relatives. And to be honest with you, it's not meant for everyone because this journey is not going to be easy. It's probably going to be one of the most difficult journeys that you will ever experience in your life. But in the end, it will be well worth it. And you're going to realize that adversity builds character. I don't care who you are. You're going to go through ups and downs in life. And when you're down, and I'm talking about down to your life, down, that's going to be the time where you see who you truly are. But as it comes to grooming the next generation, when kids are growing up, you can see the characteristic traits that they possess. If you want certain kids in your family to contribute to the succession of your business, then you have to groom them from a young age. And majority of the time is going to have to be your children because they're going to be the ones that you have the most impact on. You have to understand that the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. So the children are going to inherit the same issues that the parents have. It's important to understand that you can only teach someone what you know. So it's very difficult for some parents that have a huge impact on their child's life and change the trajectory of their future because they don't spend much time with their child in the first place. When a child gets home from school to play with his games or she wants to play with her toys or she just wants to get on the phone and talk to her friends. When the parent gets home, they don't want to deal with any more problems. They're already stressed out because they're working at a job that they hate with people that they don't like doing something that they only do so that they can make ends meet. And because of that, it creates a very difficult circumstance. But if you're young and you're listening to this, I want you to understand that you have to forgive your parents for everything. You have to let go in order to grow because it doesn't matter what you've gone through. I can tell you that you're going to go through more. And you're going to grow through more. What you've been through is what made you you. So you should be thankful that you're even here and you have an opportunity to change your trajectory yourself. Once you get to a certain point in life, you can't blame anyone else for what you've been through. You can't blame anyone else for your problems. You have to get up and take ownership. Some people are blessed with better circumstances, but in reality, majority of the time, that makes those people unappreciative. And at the end of the day, it's your life. So if you just wanna live your life with no purpose, just enjoy your time on the surface because we all gotta die someday. And number three, stick to the process without getting emotionally attached to the results. In all honesty, if you come from a poor family, when you're trying to build your family, you're going to see exactly why your family is poor. And I don't know your personal situation, but as I'm trying to build my foundation so that I'm no longer stuck on a plantation, I can see exactly why my family has been on a plantation to begin with. And it's honestly not just my family. It's the culture and the environment that we're raised in. A big issue here is that people don't understand that teamwork makes a dream work. Everyone wants something for themselves and they only understand instant gratification. When you're building with family, you're probably going to believe that just because they're family, they won't do certain things to you. I'm here to tell you that that's not true. Blood doesn't make a difference. Humans are humans. Humans have human nature. Your family will lie to you. Your family will steal from you. Your family will even kill you if you don't be careful. And those are the same problems that you'll, you'll face with a stranger. And it's crazy because when we're growing up, they say stranger danger. But that's a bold-faced lie. Danger is danger. And it comes in many shapes and forms. It can be your family. It can be a stranger. It can be a parent. You just got to learn how to analyze and realize who's working to your demise and stay away from them guys. Number four, think long term. The fact that many people are only focused on instant gratification is what's going to keep them in their situation. You have to understand delayed gratification. And that's why while you're going through the process, you have to stick to the process without getting emotionally attached to results. Because if you follow your emotions, you may give up on something that can blossom into something even greater than what you expected it to be. Number five, not only is life a marathon, it's also a relay. And the relay race portion of it is very important. Let's take me for example. I'm the first one in my family born in America. And that alone allowed me to have certain privileges that my parents 
didn't have at all when they were children. I didn't have to deal with half of the things that my parents had to go through. If this was an actual race, the way that I would imagine it is that my parents had to run on fire and rocks while I'm running on a rubber track. And my mother had to make a lot of sacrifices in order for me to be born in America. But with me knowing that I have that privilege, it gives me power because I'm not going to take it for granted. And because of that, I'll be able to pass that on to the next generation. It doesn't matter where I have my child. I can give them United States citizenship by descent. And when it comes to doing business, America is the land of opportunity. It doesn't matter what you want to do. There's an opportunity for you to pursue it in America. And there's a system in place that makes it advantageous for you to do so. But you're going to have to educate yourself and believe that you can do it. Because what you can conceive and believe, you can achieve. And it doesn't matter what anyone else is telling you. The simple fact that as a poor person, you're able to get access to capital in America, in and of itself is enough for you to accomplish what you need to. So we have to start making more long-term decisions and practice delayed gratification. Because not everything is going to happen overnight or a week from now or two weeks from now. You have to start thinking 10, 20, 30 years from now because that's what the people in power are doing every hour. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so that you're notified every time that I make a new post. Until next time.